I want to show you something about a special type of task, and that is a task that we may have reoccurring throughout the lifetime of our project. So let's say that we have a task, maybe it's even a task of generating our project progress reports and reporting that out. Um, we may have that task that's going to occur every week or every month or however often we've chosen to repeat it. We could certainly enter that task into um, Microsoft Project and we could enter it again and again and again, copying and pasting it hundreds of times throughout our project. However, Microsoft Project has a nice little shortcut way that we can deal with that. We can uh, come up here to the task ribbon and we can uh, select up here from uh, insert task and we can insert a reoccurring task. So I'll say this is project update reports. This is going to happen every one week on Friday. It's going to take uh, in this very large project one day for our uh, project manager or a designee to actually uh, compile all this. Uh, perhaps we would want to do it every two weeks and not every week. Okay, so we can set the range of reoccurrence. We can, uh, just like we saw with calendar items, we can set the reoccurrences after so many reoccurrences or by a certain date. So let's say that we have a project that's going to last for some time here. And so we want to extend this out into January of 2018. Click OK, and it's going to generate all those different tasks that we need, those hundreds of different tasks that are going to repeat. Okay. You'll notice that uh, one of the things that happens here is that all these tasks are uh, indented or underneath our uh, main task of project update reports. So we can roll those up or we can collapse them very easily. You'll notice that we will see those happening along the way here. Uh, and we can even link these to different uh, other tasks that we might have. So if we want to delay a project um, progress report for week five until a certain task is done, we can make it dependent on that and um, that will move that task accordingly. Okay, so we still have the ability to edit uh, each one of these, but you'll notice that they have set uh, calendar constraints and uh, they have uh, are all grouped together. And we have the special symbol that uh, this particular task uh, is reoccurring. Okay, so that's a, a nice little way that we can deal with tasks that uh, re reoccur throughout our project.